Let's read the following three sentences. Only Iksan and yourself will take the test. Only Iksan and you will take the test. Only Iksan and I will take the test. How many of these sentences are not correct? Well, to answer that question, we'll want to learn about reflexive pronouns. What is a reflexive pronoun? A reflexive pronoun is a pronoun that refers to the subject of the sentence in situations where the subject of the sentence and the object of the sentence are the same. You have to use a reflexive pronoun when the subject and the object are the same thing. Reflexive pronouns are object pronouns, which means they show up in object position. Here's an example. The sentence L is looking at herself in the mirror. What is the subject? L. What is the object? Herself. Who is herself referring to? Herself is referring to L. The subject L and the object herself are the same person. Another sentence would be, I taught myself to play tennis. I is a subject and myself as the object, and both of these represent the same person. The subject and the object are the same. They're talking about me. Note, a reflexive pronoun can also be used as the object of a preposition. In the sentence, he studied by himself, the relative pronoun himself comes after the preposition by. Also, there's another use of reflexive pronouns, but we're focusing on the basics in this episode. The next thing I want to do is make a table of reflexive pronouns and understand when we use which one. Let's look at the singular subjects, I, you, he, she, and it. The reflexive pronoun for I is myself. The reflexive pronoun for you is yourself. For he, it's himself. For she, it's herself. For a thing, object, or animal, the reflexive pronoun is itself. These are all singular. When you see the ending S-E-L-F, it means just one, which means singular. Now let's look at the reflexive pronouns for plural subjects. We, you, and they. We includes you and I as a subject. The reflexive pronoun for we is ourselves. For you, it's yourselves. And for they, which would be talking about he, she, or it, then the, ref then the plural reflexive pronoun is themselves. To make the plural reflexive pronoun, you can see that the spelling in all of these ends in selves. S-E-L-V-E-S. -E also, remember that reflexive pronouns are object pronouns. Let's do a quick check exercise. Fill in the blank for the following three sentences. What reflexive pronoun should we use? I'll give you a couple of seconds. If you said myself, himself, and ourselves, then you got it right. Back to our first question. How many of these sentences are not correct? Only Iksan and I will take the test is correct because the pronoun I is in subject position. How about only Iksan and you will take the test? This one is also correct because you is also in subject position. However, the sentence only Iksan and yourself will take the test is not correct because yourself is a reflexive pronoun showing up in a subject position, but we learned that reflexive pronouns can only show up in object position. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please check out the worksheet that goes along with this video at www.lingoku.com.